Yo, WTF, Tio? John Tory is pressing charges against a man who built shelters for unhoused people. Now, this may sound bad, but Mayor Tory explained that once he gathers up 101 of them, he'll finally have enough for a nice coat. Adam, some barbecue owner, Adam Skelly, received a $187,000 invoice for services of Toronto police. Sounds like the police are really raking him over the coals. <laughs> also, fuck that guy. <laughs> the Canadian government has come under fire for accepting vaccines that were intended for developing nations. However, this fits in with the new Health Canada slogan, Canada first, and we're sorry, eh? What's that? Our old friend and former host, Amanda Pereira, what are you doing here? Yeah, yeah, Jeremy, we already went over this before. Yeah, yeah, we already did that. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. I'm happy to see you too. It's okay. Uh, and in other news, David Ayers, the Zamboni driver who beat the Toronto Maple Leafs last year in goal, has signed on with Disney for a movie about his life. It makes sense because the Leafs have always been run like a Mickey Mouse organization, by which we mean mostly white. Hey, it's me. I'm here again. Texas is currently being hit with a massive snowstorm and the Toronto Maple Leafs are the best team in the NHL. So I guess the Leafs just did have to wait for hell to freeze over. The LCBO announced that they'll be selling a limited run of an $85,000 scotch that comes in the piston of a 1964 Aston Martin. The scotch is said to have notes of gasoline and privilege. In the near future, you might be able to purchase and drink liquor at 7-Elevens in Ontario. Sad to see 7-Eleven is no longer the haven of sobriety it once was. Tragic day indeed. Select Walmarts <laughs> in Ontario are now offering Botox. So not only is Walmart rolling back prices, it's rolling back your laugh lines. It's excellent news for the Walmart greeters who can now make themselves fuckable. Although that's never really stopped me before. <laughs> it's reported Canada's Wonderland might become a COVID vaccination site. Experts advise even after being vaccinated that people avoid the bat and the wildebeest. That right just fucking hurts. Yeah. And now, that's right, it's time for the Doug Ford Watch. The Doug Ford Watch. enough <laughs> yep in the <laughs> statement earlier this month doug ford claimed that nope that's bobby's joke you do it bobby hey <laughs> he's too busy drinking as, as, <laughs> I, I just wanted could, to be you for one minute all right <laughs> take it and go what what did we say in a statement earlier this minute jeremy said that doug ford said in a statement earlier this month Doug Ford claimed that paid sick leave is a waste of taxpayers' money. Because, you know, Doug Ford really knows what taxpayers don't want sick pay. What they really want is blue raspberry-flavored bush light at a 7-Eleven near them. Now, why do this one that has my name on it? I'm going to jump in on this one if that's cool. No, okay, go, go for it. <laughs> Doug Ford is being criticized for spending money on a COVID prevention measure wherein MPs wear bracelets that will beep if you get too close to another person wearing one. Some people are calling those bracelets extremely dumb and useless. But to be fair to Premier Ford, he is extremely dumb and useless. <laughs> Good news! The CNE is set to open this summer, but if the vaccine rollout continues to go as slow as it is, only people over the age of 65 will be able to attend. So enjoy your deep fried prune juice, bacon wrapped forwarded emails and casual racism on a stick. Casual racism on the stick is the best way to experience casual racism. I have to it's say. It's just crunchier. <laughs> no. Crunchier is convenient, you know. Uh, Manitoba snow maze that was deemed the largest snow maze in the world in 2019 has now doubled in size to allow for social distancing. At 56,700 square feet in size, the snow maze is now being called the perfect place to freeze to death while trapped in a snow maze. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> the leader of the federal conservatives, Aaron O'Toole, released a video earlier this week where he said, if elected, he'd move Justin Trudeau's office to a porta potty. 
that story again. The leader of the official opposition stance, Poo Poo is funny. And it is. <laughs> it is. I love Poo Poo. Uh, <laughs> other news, Sudbury's Laurentian University declared that the institution is now insolvent. But students of the school should not worry that it's closing. Instead, they should be worried that they live in Sudbury. Got me again. <laughs> well, turns out you can't get out of debt with one giant nickel. <laughs> and that's been WTFTO. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>